Located 111 kilometers southwest of Barcelona, Salou is a well-liked Spanish seaside resort popular with families. If you're looking for some Spanish sea, sand, and sun, Salou is the place to go. Not only is it readily accessible via Rails International Airport, which is only 15 kilometers away, but it also offers a plethora of unparalleled recreational opportunities. But before we get to any of that, first, let's take a deeper look at the municipality itself. As the most popular tourist destination along the Costa Dorada, Salou is a lively and bustling town found in the middle of the sleepy vacation town of La Pineda and the picturesque fishing harbor of Cambrils. The laid-back vibe is the primary selling point of this establishment. Although less Spanish than many of the resorts located close to it, if you take this already excellent location and add it to the amusement parks close by that guests may go to, an abundance of restaurants that can satisfy a variety of dietary needs, and lifeguards who can keep the enjoyment on the beaches safe for everyone, you have the perfect recipe for a fantastic vacation. The resort town markets itself almost exclusively to visitors from the United Kingdom since it's a truly family destination. It's highly likely that you will run across other people with whom you may have a nice time, and occupying the attention of adolescents and younger children should not be difficult, given the abundance of activities available for them to participate in. But that's not all there is to it. Salou has a vibrant culture and hosts dozens of colorful national festivals and holidays throughout the year, one after the other. These events bring in thousands of visitors from all parts of the world. Among all the events, however, the Motor Star Festival is and will continue to be one of the city's most exciting events. A large procession of automobiles serves as the major attraction of the festival. The automobile parade begins on the Paseo Jaume 1 Avenue and continues along the city's first important thoroughfares. The procession features classic automobiles, and during the course of the festival, there are typically many displays put on that demonstrate the unique automobiles and modes of transportation. The Golden Knights Summer Fiesta is considered the most important summer event in Salou, and each year it's attended by more than 300,000 visitors from other countries. The primary activities of the entertainment schedule for the Grand Summer Fest are the competition for the title of Queen of the Festival, which features a dazzling music show and an impressive pyrotechnic spectacular, as well as markets and street performers. Significant historical moments are frequently honored with a festival of their own. The Festa del Rey Jaume I is an example of one of these types of festivities. The celebrations for the festival last for an entire week. The festival kicks up on September the 3rd, which is significant since on this day in 1229, the king of Mallorca, began his conquest of the island. This step greatly improved the city's economic standing, and today, in order to celebrate this important historical event, the city hosts several folk festivals, which features a large number of music shows and outstanding performances, in addition to many events centered on food. Competitions in several sports will be the primary entertainment source. In celebration of the king, a regatta is held, the king's name will also be attached to the sailing competition each year. The course for the regatta is the same as the one used by the king's fleet a few centuries ago, and a parade to which everyone is invited continues to be the most anticipated activity. People get dressed up in fantastic medieval garb and head out to the streets, decked out in festive decorations, to participate in the march led by nobility mounted on horses directed by the king. During the festival, Visitors to the city will be able to go to a special medieval marketplace where they will be able to purchase authentic holiday snacks and homemade wine, as well as unusual souvenirs and handicrafts that are one of a kind. The city's historical center holds the festival's most important events and entertainment. The city aside, let's take a trip to its popular tourist destinations so that you may also know what it's worth a visit. 1. Portaventura Number one on our list is Porc Aventura Park. The primary park is one of Europe's largest and best amusement parks. It's home to several highly themed regions and provides guests with a diverse collection of rides ranging from roller coasters to more sedate attractions suitable for younger guests. Mediterranea is the region that is located at the main entrance to the park. It's home to the park's most popular ride, Furios Baco a launched wing coaster that takes riders through a vineyard while seated on either side of the track. This experience, however, is not for the faint of heart. The Wild West is brought to life in the park's far west section, which also contains two different types of water rides, 
the river rapids, and the log flume, the latter being closed during the winter period. The amusement park has also ingeniously constructed a dueling wooden racing coaster known as Stampeda and a junior wooden coaster known as Tomahawk, which intertwines with it to give younger visitors a sense of being a part of the action. In addition, there's a fantastic stage show known as Bang Bang that is jam-packed with humorous and dangerous antics. Polynesia is the tropical section of the amusement park and is home to a swinging ship ride in addition to other water-based attractions. However, most of the rides in this section of the park are also closed in cooler weather. Number 2. Levant Beach New to Barcelona's shoreline in the city's northernmost section is the sandy Levant Beach, located next to the Nova Mar Bella. The beach saw its beginnings in the summer of 2006 and was made possible after the Prim Pier was demolished during the Diagonal Mar Improvement Project. Due to its relative adolescence, the beach offers fewer facilities and amenities than established beaches, but it still has all you need to relax and have fun in the sand, water, and sun. It's more tranquil and suitable for families, couples, and lone travelers alike. You'll find amenities like a rope climbing structure for kids, showers, and lifeguard stands at the beach's southern end. Chiringuito Nueva Ola is a beach bar where you may get a drink or snack. This beach is convenient for those who wish to travel there by any of the aforementioned transportation methods. A parking lot may be found just next to the beach. Number 3. House of Illusion The House of Illusion transports you to a fantastical realm where comedy, sleight of hand, manipulation, escapology, and grand illusion all coexist. At the top of the grand staircase, our staff will meet you and show you to the Houdini Lounge or the scenic Houdini's Attic Terrace where you can relax with a drink before being ushered into the theater. Dinner ticket holders will also be treated to a great meal and unlimited beverages throughout the evening as they watch close-up magicians perform at their tables. The performers will leave you speechless with their grand, mind-blowing illusions and shadow play. Number 4. Illuminated Fountain In 1973, Carlos Buigas, the same man responsible for Barcelona's world-famous fountain in Montjuic, created this fountain often referred to as Font Luminosa. After dark, from Easter through the end of November, there's a spectacular light and sound performance at the site. The show has 100 jets shooting water in a dizzying variety of patterns, all time to music. The cybernetic fountain, which has a thousand jets, was added to the original fountain recently, multiplying its magnificence and complexity. Number 5. Avenida Jaume 1 And last but not least, we have Avenida Jaume 1 a wide marble-paved promenade that sits on the edge of Playa de Levant. Since it's at the heart of the resort's action, it is a hot spot for locals and visitors looking to make a good impression. Overlooking the beach are the iconic apartment towers of a Mediterranean resort, and below them are some of Salou's best boutiques, bars, and restaurants. The palm trees on either side of the promenade frame a statue of James I, the Conqueror, a king from the 13th century who is revered as a national hero in Catalonia because he's credited with liberating cities and towns from Moorish rule. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time!